Hi, I'm Nancy. Welcome to Mindful Yoga. Today we are practicing with the fire chakra located in the solar plexus, below the ribs and above the navel. This is a place of willpower and determination, our inner fire of life force. So join me as you find a place to sit for some breathing. Finding a place where you can be for maybe seven or eight minutes in touch with the earth, inviting in the breath, lengthening the breath down through the diaphragm, feeling the energy of the diaphragm. Getting in touch with our life force here as we come into our yoga practice. And bringing our focus down to the bottom of our spine. Breathing down, uh, up into the bottom of the spine and exhaling down into earth. This earth chakra, our foundation, our roots. And then bringing our focus a little farther up on the inhale behind the pelvic area. Exhaling down into earth, deeper. Feeling that water chakra, the place of feeling and flow of changes and of inner ocean. And bringing the inhale up behind the solar plexus, the place of the sun, fire of our inner being. Letting the breath caress the front of the spine as you draw up behind the heart. Down the front of the spine, opening that central channel, the shashunya. Drawing up from the base of the spine, up behind the larynx. and drawing up to the top of the spine. A few more breaths opening this central channel of prana, of subtle energy. Add on a Ujjayi breath contracting in the back of the throat. As you contract in the throat, you can hear your exhale. And building the fire, the energy. From the depths of earth, the tides of water, we sense a longing for warmth and light. We reach for the sun and call upon the yellow ray. Keep the ujjayi or let it go as you would like. The ray of life, the ray of creation, the spark of fire. Bringing your focus back into the solar plexus. We call upon the flame to burn within us and temper our passions into strength. The sparks touch something within, igniting strength, will, and action. The mudra, there are two mudras for this fire chakra. One is to bring the, interlace the fingers inwards and bring middle fingers out like a flame, and then bring the base of the hands to the solar plexus. So that's one 
mudra. The other one is to bring your fingers and thumbs together like flames and let them be at the sides, holding flames, uh, candles to either side. So choosing one of those mudras. Feel your fire building. Putting on a few more logs as it builds. Fire softly curling. Sparks rising. fire of our own life, burning bright, connecting with the thoughts inside, the constant sparking of neurons, filaments of energy, the glow of activity. And letting that mudra go, just bring your fingers to that area of the fire chakra. And we're going to do a Kapalabhati breath, which is an energizing breath, sometimes called the skull cleansing breath. We are going to exhale sharply with our focus on the nose and let the inhale be passive. So take one inhale and an exhale. Come in halfway, inhale, and then sharp exhale, passive inhale at your own rate. Two more. Inhale, exhale, body comes forward. Inhale, up. And open the arms, open the solar plexus. Let that energy soften, come into a concentrated energy. Then bringing the arms down to the sides. Nice big sun breath. Tracing the circumference of the sun as you reach up, hands come together and form a, a flame as the fingers point up towards the sky. Then palms together, let the hands come down through the center to the solar plexus. Inhale up. Courage and power flow through us effortlessly, calmly. And one last sun breath, the fire burns high and settles, coals radiating intense warmth. We are one with the power around and within us. Now bringing your fingers once again to that place of the solar plexus below the ribs and above the navel. We're going to drum there just as hard as you would like to. And the bija or seed sound here is R-A-M, ram, ram, ram. So try that as you tap and drum. Ram, ram, ram. Ram, ram, ram. Ram, ram, ram. And then opening arms up, I gather courage into my inner fire, bringing the backs of hands and arms together, chin to chest. I gather courage into my inner fire. I gather courage into my inner fire. The hands comes to thigh. If you have anything high underneath, remove it to a blanket. And just letting the body open up laterally, waking up the neurons, 
waking up the life force. The name of this chakra is Manipura, which literally means the city of jewels. So this is the, the golden sun shining within you like a jewel, the seat of the sun in our bodies. One more time, imagining that golden glow, the disc spinning at your solar plexus. Coming back through center, bring one hand to the opposite thigh, other hand behind, slight pause, lifting up from sits bones up through crown and coming around to the other side. This sun chakra, fire chakra has a 10 petal lotus, which is yellow, golden. And at the middle, there are two triangles pointing in opposite directions, one up, one down. And this symbolizes that this is a place where the energies of matter from below come together with the energies of spirit and light from above. We're coming back through center. Let's bring feet wide and come into windshield wiper legs, opening up through the hips. At the bottom of uh, the fire chakra is a ram, a uh, big horn sheep. So this is really the chakra of strength, building our strength by taking care of ourselves, by digesting well, eating well, sleeping well, exercising well. And then letting one arm come in, reach back to that back corner and over to the other corner. Back and forth a few times. Building this strength to bring action into our lives. And come back through center. Next time, come all the way over. Letting the fire rest down. Inhale up, over through center, to the other side. Lifting up, come up through center, cross the uh, ankles and bring the knees up fairly close up and hug your knees. The yogis like to bring their breath in to strengthen and empower themselves. So we're imagining inhaling in as we draw in our pelvic floor, lift up our stomach up underneath the ribs a bit. And exhale down. Inhale, hold the breath up through pelvic floor, up under the ribs. And let it down. And one last time. And let the exhale come down into earth. Let's come to a lying position. As we lie back, refreshing our contact with earth in a more complete way, again, let fingers come to this area between the lower ribs, feeling its softness, feeling its connection with earth, its openness to the sun. Dum, dum, dum. Dum, dum, dum. Dum, dum, dum. Perhaps you feel a pulse there. Then we're going to energize ourselves a bit. Feet come straight up in the air. Hands also, fingers up towards the ceiling. Lift head and shoulders, fingers coming up towards the toes, not touching them, but lifting up, energizing the solar plexus as we lift up and down. Two more.
then bend the knees, hands come behind the skull, fingers might be on either side of the back of the skull, and then opening the toes down towards the lower part of the mat, one knee up towards the chest, building our life force, energizing, building our willpower, our determination to act for three, two, and one, and bring it down. Now bring legs out, in, uh, stretched out, extended, head and shoulders rise, and you come up onto your elbows. Then bring yourself up with fingers pointing in, weight goes on to heels, and you might have to experiment with getting your hands directly under your shoulders for good support here. We're coming into an inclined plane. Heels can be close together, knees together. You might come down, rearrange, find your way in inclined plane. This is particularly good because we're lifting up behind the fire chakra in that area behind the solar plexus for three, two, and one, and bring it down. Let your body come back once again onto the mat, bring feet, soles of feet, three inches or so below the buttocks. We'll do a moving bridge, hips rise, hands rise, glutes lifting up the hips as arms come back overhead. On the inhale, hands come back and hands and hips come down onto the mat, lift up, Solar plexus, feeling the light and the warmth. And exhaling slowly down. One last time. Then bring the arms so that they are coming horizontally out from the shoulders. Knees are bent over the hips. Let the knees go over towards one side, come back up through center and over to the other side. Strong through abdomen and belly. One more time to each side. Come back through center, feet come down. Bring the hips over to the left just a bit. Raise the bent knees again and let both knees come over to the right side into a twist. Relaxing into the twist, turning the palms up and raising the palms as they arch towards each other. Coming back to our affirmation, I gather courage into my inner fire. I gather courage into my inner fire. And perhaps you could feel that twist right in your solar plexus. Now lifting your knees up, come back through center, let hips come over towards the right, knees lift and go over towards the left. Relaxing into the twist, bringing your focus to your inner fire, palms up, bringing the arms together or towards each other. I gather courage into my inner fire. I gather courage into my inner fire. Bring the knees and hips back through center. Then we're going to come up into a seated position with legs out in front of you. So we're doing up boat, a good one for building the energy. Hands are behind the thighs, coming back on to the area behind the sits bones, sitting up straight, toes on the mat, 
perhaps raising one foot and then the other, perhaps letting both shins come up, doing a, just a slight back bend, perhaps the hands open. Hands might come into the flame mudra with fingers and thumbs coming together. And you might want to try your ram, ram, ram here. Ram, ram, ram. Ram, ram, ram. Ram, ram, ram. And bring it down. That's a bit of a challenge. Staying in this position for just a moment. Bring your knees apart. So my knees come apart. My hands come inside my thighs and the hands wrap around the shins. And then we're going to come back on that area behind the sits bones once again. This is called the lotus pose. Determined and energized, we are a 10 petal yellow lotus. And bring it down. And bringing feet around, we're kind of going to come into a prone position. We'll start with a sphinx. Settling down through the pelvic bone in the front, letting that solar plexus have some space and light. In the Mahabharata, it reads, what is this life flowing in our bodies like fire? Life is like a hot iron, ready to pour. Choose the mold, life will burn it. What can we pour into our lives? Then letting the torso come down, arms come back in an inverted V, palms are out to the sides with thumbs up, head and shoulders rise, engage all of the muscles along the back of your body, your hamstrings, glutes up along your back, bring it down for a moment, rise up once again in this inverted V, for three, two, and one, and bring it down. Lengthen feet down, lengthen crown up. Head, shoulders, and legs rise, arms rise. They're right behind, beside the body with palms in. Feel the energy coursing through your body and bring it all down. Interlace your fingers below your buttocks in the back. Interlace fingers below the buttocks in the back. This is a hamstring exercise. We're going to bring our, bend our knees on the exhale three times. Ha, ha, ha. As we inhale, the hands rise up to the waist. We lift up a little bit. And then the torso comes down. Hands come down to the bottom of the buttocks. Ha, ha. Ha, rise hands up a bit, rise up in the head and shoulders. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. One last time. Ha, ha, ha. And bring it down. Take a little rest, let your fire settle with your cheek against the back of your hands. And then we'll push up into a standing position. As you come into a standing position, take time to feel the bottom of your feet against whatever is underneath them. 
connecting down through the earth. Feeling the energy bubbling up from beneath your feet, through arches, up the inner seams of the legs, into the belly, blooming at the solar plexus. We're going to do a fire practice from Qigong. Open the one leg out to the side. Arms come forward with palms up. Arms go up as gaze rises. Then turn the hands so that they come to the backs, palms, uh, hands are back to back, coming down like a flame, down through the body. And then arms open up to the side in a kind of parasol, soft. And then hands come to side. Other leg opens up, offer hands forward and up as if you could raise the light of the sun towards the sky. Back of hands come together, bringing them down as if you could fill your core with sunlight. Arms are wide and soft come down to sides, open to the other side, receiving light, offering light, lifting up, bringing that light, sun, fire down through your body and opening out, bringing it in. Open other side, receive, offer the light. Bring the sun down into your core. Open out and bring hands to each side. Now bring the feet wide, hands come onto the uh, thighs just above the knees. And we'll bring one shoulder to opposite knee. Twists are good for the fire chakra. You can feel that they aid digestion as well as kind of massaging that place of fire within you. Then coming back through center, we'll do a cat cow, opening up. The front of the spine, tailbone rises, then opening up the back of the spine, tailbone descends. One last time. And bring it up. We imagine that we have a big wheel in front of us, feet a little wider than hip width apart, knees soft. Grasp the wheel up here at the top of your head and then bring it around to the side, down in front of you, over to the side and up. Slowly making the wheel just as big as is right for your body. Ancient yogis would make a fire at sunrise. So the journey of the sun across the sky, they imagined as a chariot and come around the opposite way. The, I, the word yoga even has this idea attached to it of journey, chariot, and battle. So they imagined themselves accompanying the sun across the sky hoping that the sun would burn away their selfish desires and that they would become part of the universal light. And coming up to the top, bring arms down and around. Feet remain wide. We're going to do what's I think often called a wood chop. So we'll reach up and then come diagonally across the body and bring our 
hand down towards shin or ankle or foot. And a diagonal movement across the body, building that strength. Then let's go to the other side, reaching up and over. Maybe imagining ourselves building the tree rather than chopping it down. Let's build prana. So feet are just a little bit wider than hip width apart, and knees are, and hips are quite soft. Reach uh, fists out in front of you, and as we bend elbows back behind the body, the fists will turn upwards and come back. Ha! 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 Three more. Ha! 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 Building that fire, feeling the prana. Just stop for a moment and feel that tingling, the aliveness of the body. Feet come a little wider apart. One hand comes behind, one arm comes behind along the waist in the back. The other arm is going to come across as if it has a ball of light lifting it up to about shoulder level over across the body. And then switch arms, one arm behind the waist and the hand reaching up with a ball of light. A Mohawk prayer for the sun. Gratitude to the sun. Blinding, pulsing light through trunks of trees. through mists, warming caves with bears and snakes. The sun wakes us up in our minds, so be it. And come back through center. Bring feet together, then take one step forward into a high lunge, other foot is back behind the buttocks, aligning the hips so that they are horizontal, drawing in through thighs so that there is good balance there, weight in both feet. We're going to bring our hands out to the side in those flames, and then we're going to come up and bring them together into one flame over our heads. So in the high lunge, arms out to the side, and then lifting up, coming together into one flame overhead, and then coming forward. And once again, coming out to the sides, up overhead, two flames become one above the head, bringing our flame forward and opening up. One last time, come up into a flame, come forward and bring the arms back. Hands to the waist, come into a high lunge on the other side, finding just the right amount of space between your feet that is right for your body so you can balance well. Once again, bring your flames out to the side, flames rise up, come together, bring that flame forward, Open up to the sides, solar plexus open to the sun, and forward, coming into your inner fire. And one more time. Now let's bring our hands down around the front foot, coming into a downward dog. 
We're coming into downward dog. Knees are soft, hips reaching back, pedaling feet long through the sides of the body, hips reaching back to the wall behind you. Coming forward into plank, knee up or knee down for three, two, and one. Elbows close, knees down. Open up into a small cobra. Coming back up into downward dog. Bring the left foot in under the hips. Right leg reaches up. Bend the knee in under the belly. Come down onto knees if you need to, or bring that foot through. And we're coming into low lunge, so knee down lunge. The back knee can be right under that hip. Bring the hands once again to the solar plexus, and we'll come back to the Kapalabhati breath, that sharp exhale and passive inhale. Inhale, exhale, half inhale, And pause, inhale, exhale slightly forward, and come back up. Hands come down around the front foot and rise up. Weight coming back over the feet, hips high, stretching back into downward dog. Stay in downward dog if you'd want to come forward for one more plank and up into Cobra, you can do so. Everyone meeting back in Downward Dog, right foot under the hips, left leg reaches up, bends under the belly, or you come down on knees and come through to a knee down lunge. Once again, coming to Kapalabhati, Inhale, exhale, half inhale. And slowly coming to a pause. Inhale and exhale forward and come up through center. Hands come down to the mat. One last brief downward dog. Then walking hands forward and feet back. Hands back to feet and feet to hands. Come into a forward fold. Plant the feet. Let the hands come onto the shins. Lengthen through the back. Half fold. And exhale down. Bring a hand to each opposite elbow. Allow that weight. To pull vertebrae, decompressing the spine, letting everything dangle down. Knees are soft. Neck is loose. Then knees soft, arms swing out to the side and up. Palms come together overhead. And let's make a flame up there with all the fingers up. Making a flame up towards the sun. Inhale up, exhale over to one side. Not so far over, but keeping the length. Inhaling up long in the back, long through the solar plexus and over to the side. Being one with your power one with your inner fire and coming up through center let hands come down we're going to come into chair knees and hips are soft arms lift up then bring the hands down in front towards the horizon palms facing each other as you sit down onto a stool inhale up 
Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Straighten knees a bit. Hands come down to the mat. Feet back up into downward dog. One more sun salutation here coming into plank. Into cobra, lifting up to the sun. Back into downward dog. Walk feet forward and hands back. Knees and hips are soft as you lift up into chair once again for three, two, and one. And bring it up. Now we're going to do a back bend. We're going to start with hands along the ribs, slightly open. So my hands are slightly open here. And then we're going to bring the, the upper arms right along the body as the hands come out. So as we do our back bend, we'll have this movement, but with the solidity of our upper arms against our side ribs. The feet are firmly under the hips. Lengthen through the back, through the tailbone, the back of the neck, open up with the arms and open from pelvis up through sternum and come back. So this is not a huge back bend, but opening up, particularly bringing your focus to that area below your ribs and above your navel. Opening your inner fire to the sun. receiving power and giving power back. And one last time. And we'll come back through center. I'm going to come to a balance. So if you'd like any chair or uh, prop beside you, side of a couch or whatever, uh, feel free. Bring the weight into one foot, dynamic energy up through the body, good focus point. Hands come to candles. So we're bringing the fingers and thumbs together again on either side of the solar plexus. Lift the empty leg up, bending the knee, then bring it out and down. Let your candle on that side follow the knee across and down. Knee lifts, comes across and down. Synchronizing breath and movement. One last time. Let the other leg become the foundation leg. Good focal point, lifting up through the body. Knee lifts, candle guides it across and down. This inner fire of the fire chakra can become our guiding light to focus our attention, our emotions into the outer world. Bringing it into purposeful activity and bring it down. We're going to do one more kind of balance. This is a, a variation of a warrior three. So bringing your weight into one foot, again, having your candles out on either side of your solar plexus, one leg lifts up perhaps ever so slightly in the back as the opposite hand candle reaches out in front. Play with this. You might be coming forward a little bit more each time. The leg might be lifting up a little higher in the back or not. Find the place that is right for you. And you might come to a pause or not. Be the cup that holds the candle. Be the wax, the wick, the flick of the wrist that lights the match. 
and coming back, bring your weight into your other foundation leg, soft in the knee, but dynamic. That leg begins to lift and the other candle on the opposite side starts to be offered forward. Be the wax, be the wick, but most of all, be the flame. And then continuing to move or holding for a moment. And bringing it down. Let's pause and take a breath. Let feet be a little wider than hip width apart. Gather the energy, the warmth, the heat of the sun. Even if we can't see it through the clouds, it is there. And bringing palms together down through the solar plexus. One more time, gathering the energy of life that is all around us and in us, gathering courage into our inner fire. Let feet remain wider than hip width, soft through the knees and the hips. Bring the upper arms along the body, elbows bent, fists pointing upwards. We're going to turn one fist and punch out forward as the other elbow comes back. And then we'll come back and do the other side. So punching forward with one as that fist turns down, other fist is going back towards your waist, and then straightening the legs, coming back through center, opposite fist turns down and forward, all your intense concentration on that fist as it comes forward, and elbow comes back behind the body. Breathing, exhaling as your concentration is on that fist going forward. So our fire burns high, coming into intense coals. It can give us the power of concentration, of radiation outwards towards the world. And one more time on each side. And coming back through center, coming into warrior two legs, finding your width for warrior two, opening up through chest, grounding down through feet. The palms come up so that shoulder blades come down the back and then turn palms down. Bring the intensity of your gaze to your front fingers, strong through legs and hips strength rising and spreading through your whole body. Bending the front arm, bringing it down, sweeping the sunlight up and over your body, sweeping it back, back hand comes to the thigh, top hand reaches up, making a flame up towards the sun and back and forth. One more time. And come back through center. Bring hands to hips. Turn the knee, uh, the uh, toes so that they are coming slightly inwards. Hands come to the hip creases.
torso comes parallel to the floor. Knees are soft. Let the spine come down towards the floor. Hands coming down to the floor. Hips rising up. Knees are soft. Letting the spaces between the vertebrae decompress the spine. Perhaps letting the neck say an easy yes and no. Then walking hands over to one ankle, opening up with the other arm, letting in the light. Sweeping down across center and opening up to the light on the other side. Coming down through middle. Bring hands up to waist, torso comes parallel, and then bring the body up. Bring feet together for a moment and then come into warrior two on the other side. Feel the grounding down of the feet, the spreading of the toes, opening up through chest, reaching out, intensity of gaze, reaching into the world. Coming forward into side angle, Sweeping with the sun across the sky. Sweeping back and opening up to the sun. Two more times. Letting solar plexus and sun have a moving conversation. And finally, coming back through warrior two, bringing hands to waist and toe healing the feet back together. Let's sit down in, well, do a twist before we end here. So you might want a blanket under your hips. Give a little bit of height to your hips. Extend one leg out and the other foot comes up beside the thigh. You might bring it across. This time, bring the opposite elbow to the top of the knee and make a flame, bringing together your fingers and thumbs in that candle. Other hand comes back behind, down through sits bones, up through the crown. Inhale up. Exhale round through the solar plexus. Inhale up. Exhale round through shoulders. Inhale up. And exhale round through neck. Let yourself be long, centered, centered to earth, centered to your inner ocean centered to your inner fire. Release and unwind. We'll come around to the other side, extending out through other leg, foot perhaps coming up and over that thigh. If it's comfortable, elbow to the knee and a candle, candle fingers with arm behind for support. Inhale up through crown and exhale back around gradually. Drawing on this source of light that surrounds us, that is within us.
One last inhale and unwind. Let's come down into a lying position for a few moments. And as you wiggle around and find a comfortable place here on the mat, perhaps bringing your fingers back to that small pulse of the inner fire between the lower ribs. Breathing, exhaling deep down into earth and inhaling, bringing up the molten core, the fire at the middle of the earth into your inner fire. Exhaling down to earth. And inhaling the center warmth of earth up to yourself. We gather our courage into our inner lives. Relaxing through teeth, tongue, jaw, cheeks, eyes, temples, the back of the skull, the back of the neck, front of the neck. through heart, behind the heart, through solar plexus and behind the solar plexus, below the navel, behind the navel, the pelvic floor and base of spine. Letting that softness come down through legs, out through arms, into toes and fingers. Feeling both the intense life force and the softness of the body. One more breath. Stay here if you would like. If you are coming back into your day, moving fingers and toes, wrists and ankles. Giving your knees a hug. Dedicating your practice, your strength, your inner fire to your life. And then rolling over, we'll come up to a brief sitting position. May we be healthy. May we be strong in our minds, in our bodies, and our hearts. And may our inner fire burn bright. May it settle into courage. Namaste. Really good to build courage with you this morning. I hope we are all strong. <laughs>